Hi, Jill here, and I have a book that I want to show you. It's another Christmas book, as well as just a few haul items this week. Um, not feeling good, so sorry about all the, the sniffles, but I caught a cold, of course, when the, the cold front came through. Even in Florida, we got a cold front, and uh, it just kind of threw me for a loop. So, anyway, sorry about that. I didn't really get much this week. I'm on like little itty bitty budget, but I, I did get a few orders. Well, I got an order in and then picked up a few things with some of my 50% off coupons. I got a few more flowers from I Am Roses. I got the gardenia petals, the large and the small. This is half of a package. I split these with a friend. These, I wasn't sure I was gonna like them, when they came, but they're awesome. Love them. And I am going to order some more small flowers this week, hopefully. I'll show you this. I got the Martha Stewart, let's see, what's it called? Custom Stamp Setting Kit. And it reminds me of the the one that's out, what is it, Just Right Stamps. But this one came with two rectangle blocks and one circular block. And the whole point was I wanted to make myself a name stamp that said Made For You by, and then Jill LaBelle and my email, Stampyra. So this isn't a very good representation of it. It does stamp better. But this is what I came up with. And here it is. So I'm really happy with it because I think I got it for like $12. With a coupon, of course. Another really cool Martha Stewart thing I got was at Michael's. And it was just sitting on an end cap. And I, I still can't believe I found this. 50 replacement blades for $3.99. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm always running out of these things. And I didn't even know there was a 50 pack. So I was really excited to find that. And they were right in front of the regular blades. And we turned around on like Exacto brand blades. 350. So, and that was for five. So this was a great deal. I picked up some of the twine. And this is actually the twine from right here from my I Am Roses order. And I, I shared this also. But it came with two green two red and then I think it's a brown really like this stuff and I already got into the red a little so I'm not gonna fiddle with that I also got this stamp set and you'll see this in my book it's two sheets of stamps on one and I really like them <laughs> I I just I kept looking at them putting them back and then I used my 50% off coupon on them. So they were like $6.50. And there's the one sheet, and here's the other, and I've already used the bird, and you'll see why in a minute. And then I got the deep cut blade housing for my Cricut. And this is what killed the budget. This thing is $30. And I went, picked it up tonight, so I'm looking forward to, to making my own shape mini book with that. Okay, so on to my actual project. See what I mean when I said I had a small haul. I did pick up some adhesives because I had that 50% that off coupon over the weekend. So that's what I do. I get all my adhesives when I have coupons like my Scotch Quick Dry and my Redline Tape. And I picked up some adhesive sheets. So this is a mini book that I have made for a friend. I, You know me. I make them in twos. Where's my other one? Oh, identical. And I just seem to work better that way. So I'm just going to walk you through this book. I'm thrilled with how it came out. I used the My Mind's Eye paper from that one paper pack I got on Black Friday. And I picked out pretty much my favorite papers. And this wasn't originally going to be the cover, but it ended up as the cover. So I put some trim on the binding, which is the D-ring, which I have decided. I just got the D-rings don't like them. I, they frustrate the heck out of me. Sorry, Tim. I, there are two Tim products I don't like, and that is one of them. So, you know, there's got to be something in each 
line, and you know, if that's all I don't like out of a line of products that big, well, hey. So, we'll start down here. Here's some of those gardenia petals I just got. I used all of my homemade sprays on here. So if I say Glimmer Mist or Sprays, it's my homemade version, which is on my previous videos. I just fill mini misters with some Perfect Pearls, a scoop or two, so a full dropper of Distress Ink and water. And then I make my own labels, telling myself what I've, I've done there. So the main colors that I went with in this book, though, ink pad wise, was... I'd know this, not barn door. <laughs> Fired brick. And then tea dye, vintage photo, and oh man, which green is this? Probably all sitting there screaming at me which green it is, but it's the darkest green from the new. I just can't read it. Actually, it's from the old one, Pine Needles. Sorry about that, guys. I had them out and put them away. So, this I actually used old paper and a gold and sprayed. And then I had a little bit of red that I got on the tips. This is a tea dye spray. And these are all I Am Rose's flowers. And then these little teeny tiny ones, I used those up. She sent me, I think, 12 little, you know, sprig of those for free with my petals used them all up. Here's one of those antique brads I just got from Stampin' Up. This is one of the jewels from the Michaels collection. Obviously just a ticket. I use Hero Art stamps and put songbirds on here. Decided that they had to be songbirds and obviously you can see why. I stamped this with music notes and this is the Sizzix bird. I cut it out of gold first and then cut it out of just the one of the My Mind's Eye papers and layered it. And then I put some, oh my gosh, I think I'd know the name of this stuff by now. Diamond Dust, right here. A little bit of the Say It and Pearls from Prima. And everything is etched with my Ranger Gold Dauber. Here's one of those little um, brads. They all came in a set from one of the Michaels end caps that sold out a long time ago. So this is very little photo opportunity, but the person I'm sending it to, I thought, you know, like maybe they go to a party and have just a few pictures. Go put a picture right here. I also used my, obviously, my new Tim Holtz ornamental frame there. This is the other bird from the Sizzix paper. I mean, from the Sizzix dye with the My Mind's Eye paper. And here you can see the pattern on it a little bit better. This one I put a little bit of Stormy Sky on, a little bit of tea dye, and I spritzed it. And I used my new Perfect Pearl Mist in the Perfect Pearl color. And I know a lot of you asked what I think of these. This is the only color I've used so far, and I adore it. I love the concentration. I love the spritzer. And I love the fact that I can shake the heck out of this thing and get good color. And here was my gold paint dabber. Look at that sad thing. And I'm like not even halfway done with it. This is one of those Prima that I got. Really didn't like it. Again, I sprayed it with one of my homemade sprays. I layered it together with the glittery ones because there were some really glittery poinsettias in there. Some Say It and Pearls. This is from the Tim Holtz collection of the trims and I just sprayed it with the tea dye. I'm really liking those. I like the softness of these in the small size. Let's see here's me and these D rings not getting along. They're driving me nuts. Okay. This is probably the busiest page obviously. I've got a very similar layout to before. I just used tea dye and a little bit of the green, some more of the I Am Roses flowers. This is straight out of the 12 Tags of Christmas with Tim, the bird with the tissue tape, the musical notes, and I edged it in gold, put some more diamond dust on there. Here's the ribbon, or tissue tape. This is a Jenny Bolin Christmas button. And then I did a pocket here, just cutting the, the shape out twice to give a little pocket. 
These are some jewel papers from a um, Duck Cuts with a View stack that I've had for ages. This is a Tim Holtz Bingo stamp. And then on the back I just put some basic gray notebook paper. And I just thought it worked. And those are those same colors I mentioned before. And here is from the new stamp set I got, the 100th edition stamp set. Again, Tim Holtz. Did this one, then sprayed it with the pearls, let it bleed a little bit, and heat set it. That was fun tucked in there. This is a little tag page. I figure she can put the title in herself. This is from the Tim Holtz Ornamental. This is the Stampin' Up! Bird Punch. Some more diamond dust. A little bit of bling here. This is, uh, Sharon sent me these. Little coin envelope. And I edged it, again, with the gold as I edged the ornamental plate. I went ahead and I stuck a brad in here before I stuck this paper down. And this again is the My, My, Mind's, Eye, My Mind's Eye paper with the music notes stamped over top of it in tea dye. And then I did a little tag here. And this is that bird I just showed you from the new stamp set. And here are the, is the Perfect Pearl, Perfect Pearl Miss. They need to change that name. <laughs> and again, just, to, you know, the same colors in the background. You can see a little bit more here on just a standard little tag. This is that ribbon, the Martha Stewart ribbon I have. I attached it with a tiny attacher. And then it goes back into the pocket, and I put the pocket up on foam tape just for some interest. Now you get to watch me wrestle with the D-rings. Seriously, these things are driving me insane. Okay, see, that's, they're good now that I've said something. This was going to be the cover, and I was going to put the title in a bird here, but I ended up changing it. These are the Prima poinsettias that I got when I decided I didn't like the other Prima poinsettias. These come in the tin with the leaves. These are some of those little findings, again, from Michael's. These are the little I Am Roses the tiny, tiny ones. So some Primo Bling that Trudy sent me. This is my little bird punch that Sharon just sent me. Love him, the little cardinal. And again, this was going to be the cover, but I really enjoyed the words on the paper. And I couldn't have planned it better to have Santa right there. And on the other book, it says St. Nicholas right there, right across here. So it worked out perfect. And anything that was sprayed like these little guys, I got my homemade mess. And I just used a, a combination, I think, of Rusty Hinge and the Honey one from the new collection. Okay, and then here's the back. I used, again, my Tim Holtz stamp set with the limited edition stamp. Love this in that same pine needles on just some tag. So I kept this one pretty simple in the fact that it's got some pretty basic lines to it, and I, and I liked it that way. I didn't want to overcomplicate things or overage or distress things on this one. So that's it. I hope you guys like it, and I hope the recipient likes it. She doesn't know she's getting it yet, and so that should be fun when she gets that in a few days. So thanks for stopping by, and have a good day. And if I don't do another video before Christmas, which I might, um, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. Thanks. Bye.